Manchester United buried the Derby Day defeat with a not a very convincing 1-0 win over Bournemouth, but three points nevertheless. And now we head to West Brom on Sunday for a 2.15 kickoff. Here is a big match preview. As I said, going into the game, that win over Bournemouth was far from convincing for Manchester United, but it ended up being one of those games where maybe last year we would have drawn that game. Under Van Howe, we definitely would have drawn that game. Those matches have ended up being like 4-0 for Man United, the likes of Swansea, Everton, West Ham, but we grinded out a 1-0 win. It's the sort of performance that you associate with a title winning team in terms of winning when you're playing effectively quite badly, but with City so far ahead, all United can do now is just win all of our games and hope that they slip up. And beating Bournemouth at home like that, okay, it's at least three points, but we've got to go to West Brom and play a little bit better. They got a pretty, I wouldn't say good, uh, but it was good. They got a point away at Anfield. Nil-nil draw for them. Tony Pudis might not be there anymore, but they're still playing that sort of defensive style of football. Johnny Evans had a fantastic game at Liverpool. I was speaking to Chris Pajak from Redmond TV before this, and he was saying how commanding Johnny Evans was. It just wasn't just his own individual performance. He was leading as a centre-back and making everybody around him play better. So they're definitely going to be hoping for that clean sheet against United. But that's been United's mantra this season. We're hardly conceding goals. And we won 1-0 against Bournemouth. You know, City was a dismal defeat. It was a dismal set of tactics, poor individual performances. Nothing really went right for Man United that day. But we kicked on straight away, got a 1-0 win over Bournemouth. And that has to continue away at West Brom. Alan Pardew has a tough job on his hands. Obviously, Man United beat Alan Pardew's Crystal Palace in the FA Cup final when we saw the old, the old Alan Pardew dance celebrated a little bit too early there, Alan. What a fucking shame. But they are 17th at the moment, just above the drop zone. I would say Jay Rodriguez, Salomon Rondon, who's got three goals this season, probably their biggest threat. But Man United just have to... We've got a strong enough and a good enough team to convincingly beat West Brom. But as I showed against Liverpool, they can be very resolute. Very defensive when they want to be and can grind out points. Maybe that's the same sort of thing that they're going to try and do against Man United. But we have been quite good in these games. We have been breaking teams down. And we have got to do that away at the Hawthorns on Sunday. Because anything but three points, if City win, any hope of trying to resolve anything from the season is going to quickly disappear and evaporate. But who's going to start for Man United? This is my predicted 11. As you can see in goal, David De Gea. No questions asked. I'm reverting to the 5-3-2 that we used so convincingly against Watford and Arsenal, but then didn't use against Man City. It didn't make any sense to me whatsoever. We switched to a 4-2-3-1. We shouldn't. Stick to this 5-3-2. It's working for Man United. De Gea in goal. Young and Valencia as fullbacks. I'm going for Rojo, Jones and Smalling as my predicted centre-back three. I would probably start Lindelof maybe ahead of Smalling if I could, but I think that'll be the, the back three. Midfield two, I'm going to Emmanuel Matic and, and Herrera. Scott McTominay played very well against uh, Bournemouth, but I don't think he'll start here. I think it'll be Herrera and Matic and then Pogba coming back in next week. Christ, we miss you, Pogba. Um, going Lingard in number 10 with Lukaku and Martial up front. Mkhitaryan really out of favour right now. Matter, I wouldn't say he's out of favour, but Lingard's been playing better in that number 10, so I think he'll start. And it's either Rashford or Martial up front. Like for like, really, I don't mind who starts because they're both going to be fantastic and the, uh, the other one's going to make a great impact from the bench, as they always do. But as you know, United People's TV backed for the season by Labrooks. Thank you very much. As we're doing right now, we're doing an odds boost. And I think, ooh, what should I go for this week? Let's go for Lukaku to continue his goal scoring form. Two and two. He scored against Bournemouth, a very important goal. But that's the bet that I'm going to lay down this week. As always, the link is in the description. You can follow it through there. But what's my prediction of the game? I've got to be confident. I've got to go for a Manchester United win, but I think it's going to be one of those not very pretty performances. I think it's going to be a very similar sort of game that we saw against Bournemouth with West Brom getting opportunities, but United's quality shining through when it matters most. We won 1-0 there. I'm going to go for 1-0 again away at West Brom. Keeping a clean sheet I think would be important, especially not conceding first against this team because they will sit deep and if they do, they're going to frustrate us. And as much as we have been good at that this season without Popper, that's going to be difficult. But what's your prediction? Let me know in the comments. As always, drop a like on the video and subscribe to United People's TV if you're new. We'll see you soon. Take it easy.